Good morning everyone. I hope you found informative on my previous video on technical interview questions and answers part 1. If you missed it, you can catch up using the link below. In this series, I will be covering technical interview questions and answers for software engineers. This is the second session and here I am covering interview questions from the world famous company TCS. And I have 4 to 5 more videos lined up which is included MNCs like Google, Infosys and Wipro. Don't skip the video as it covers TCS specific questions that are frequently asked in interviews. Watching this video will help you prepare and increase your chances of facing your TCS interview. If you want to stay updated, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications on time. Let's get started. Moving on to the first session, Programming Concepts. What is the difference between a stack and a queue data structure? Provide an example. A stack is a last in first out data structure where elements are added and removed from the top of the stack. A queue, on the other hand, is a first in first out data structure where elements are added to the end of the queue and removed from the front. For example, a stack can be used to implement the undue feature in a text editor, while a queue can be used to manage a print job queue. Moving on to the second question, how do you handle errors in JavaScript? I use strikecast blocks to catch and handle exceptions. I also utilize error objects to assess error information. Additionally, I implement error handling mechanisms such as window.onerror and promise.catch to catch and handle the errors. This approach ensures robust error handling and provides informative error messages for debugging. Question number 3 What is the difference between double equal and triple equal in JavaScript? In JavaScript, the main difference between the double equal and triple equal operators is that double equal performs a loose equality comparison while triple equal performs a strict equality comparison. The triple equal operator compares both content and type whereas double equal compares only content. Moving on data stretches and algorithms. Write a program to print the Fibonacci series up to the nth time. See the code on the screen. Declare variables to store the first two Fibonacci numbers. Initialize a variable to store the nth time. Loop through the numbers from 3 to n. Calculate the next Fibonacci number as the sum of the previous two. Print the Fibonacci series. Question number 5. Write a program to check if a given string is a palindrome. See the code on the screen. Declare a variable to store the input string. Initialize two pointers, one at the start and one at the end of the string. Compare the characters at the two pointers. If the characters match, move the pointers toward the center of the string. If the characters do not match, the string is not a palindrome. Question number 6. Write a program to reverse a given string. See the code on the screen. Declare a variable to store the input string. Initialize an empty string to store the reversed string. Loop through the characters of the input string from the end of the beginning. Append each character to the reversed string. Print the reverse string. Moving on to the third section, database concepts. Question number seven: What is data warehousing? What are its benefits? Data warehousing is the process of collecting, integrating, and analyzing data from various sources to support business decision making. Benefits of data warehousing include improved data quality, enhanced business intelligence, and better decision-making capabilities. 
Question number 8. What is the difference between inner join and left join? Inner join and left join are two types of joins used to combine data from two or more tables. Inner join retains only the rows that have matching values in both tables. Left join retains all the rows from the left table and the matching rows from the right table. If there is no match, the result will contain null values. Question number 9. What is indexing in database? Indexing is a technique used to improve the speed of data retrieval in a database. An index is a data structure that contains the values for a specific column or set of columns in a table. It allows the database to quickly locate and access the required data, reducing the time it takes to execute queries. Coming to the fourth session, Operating System Concepts Question number 10 what is the difference between monolithic and microkernel architecture? Monolithic architecture is a type of kernel architecture where all the operating system services are implemented in the kernel space. This approach provides fast execution and efficient use of resources. Microkernel architecture, on the other hand, is a type of kernel architecture where the kernel is broken down into smaller components and each component runs in user space. This approach provides better security, flexibility and maintainability. Question number 11. What is paging and how does it differ from segmentation? Paging is a memory management technique where the physical memory is divided into fixed size blocks called frames and the virtual memory is divided into fixed size blocks called pages. Each process is given a page table that maps the pages to frames. Segmentation on the other hand is a memory management technique where the virtual memory is divided into variable size blocks called segments. Each segment represents a logical unit of memory such as program or data. Question number 12. What is deadlock and how to prevent it? Deadlock occurs when two or more processes are blocked indefinitely, waiting for each other's resources. To prevent deadlock, we can use techniques such as mutual exclusion, hold and wait, no preemption, and avoiding circular wait. Moving on, networking concepts. Question number 13. What is the difference between TCP and UDP? TCP is a connection oriented protocol that ensures reliable data transfer, while UDP is a connectionless protocol that prioritizes speed over reliability. Question number 14. What is the difference between LAN, MAN, and WAN? LAN connects devices within a limited geographical area. MAN connects devices across a metropolitan area. And WAN connects devices across a large geographical area, often spanning multiple cities or countries. Question number 15. What is the difference between router and switch? A router is a networking device that connects multiple networks together and routes traffic between them based on IP addresses. A switch on the other hand is a device that connects multiple devices within a network and forwards data packets based on MAC addresses. Moving on to the next topic, Java specific questions. Question number 16. What is the difference between interface and abstract class in Java? In Java, an interface defines a contract that must be implemented by any class that implements it. An abstract class on the other hand provides a partial implementation of a class and can have both abstract and concrete methods. What is the concept of multi-threading in Java? 
Multi threading in Java allows multiple threads to run concurrently within a program, improving responsiveness and the system utilization. Java provides built in support for multi threading through the thread class and the runnable interface. Question number 18 What is the difference between throw and throws in Java? In Java, throw is used to explicitly throw an exception from a method. Or block of code, whereas throws is used to declare that a method may throw an exception and is typically used in method signatures. Moving on to the last section, TCS specific questions. Question number 19 Why do you want to work at TCS? Show your knowledge of TCS values, mission, and services. And express your enthusiasm for working with a leading IT company. Here is the sample answer. I am impressed by TCS commitment to innovation, excellence and social responsibility. With its rich history of over 50 years, TCS has established itself as a leader in the IT industry. And I am excited about the opportunity to be a part of a team that is shaping the future of technology. I am also drawn to TCS values of integrity, respect and excellence which align with my own personal values. Furthermore, I am impressed by TCS wide range of services and solutions which cater to various industries and domains. I believe that working at TCS will provide me with the opportunity to work on challenging projects learn from experienced professionals and contribute to the growth and success of the company. Question number 20 What do you know about TCS products and services? Research TCS products and services such as their IT services, consulting and business solutions and be prepared to discuss them. Here is the sample answer. TCS offers a wide range of services including IT services, consulting and digital transformation. They cater to various industries such as banking, healthcare and retail. Some of the notable products and platforms developed by TCS include Number 1. TCS Banks, a financial services platform that provides solutions for banking, capital markets and insurance. Number 2. TCS Omnistore, a retail platform that provides solutions for retail businesses to manage their operations and customer experiences. Number 3. TCS Ion, a cloud based platform that provides solutions for small and medium sized businesses to manage their operations and growth. Overall, TCS products and services are designed to help businesses drive innovation, growth and transformation in the digital age. And the last question is, what do you know about TCS growth and expansion plans? Research, TCS overview, growth plans, revenue, market share, expansion plans, new products, technology investments, financial performance and future outlook. Here is the sample answer. TCS has been consistently growing and expanding its presence globally. The company has been investing heavily in digital transformation, artificial intelligence and cloud computing. TCS has also been expanding its operations in various geographies including North America, Europe and Asia Pacific. I am impressed by TCS vision to become a leader in the digital era and its commitment to innovation and customer satisfaction. Remember to be prepared to answer behavioral questions such as those related to teamwork, communication and problem solving in addition to technical questions. That's it for today's video on technical interview questions and answers for software engineers. I hope you found this session informative and helpful. If you want to learn more questions including MNCs like Google, Infosys, Wipro and prepare for your next technical interview, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.
in the next video we will be covering more advanced technical interview questions and answers don't miss it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video